you meditate daily do you meditate yes. sometimes <laughs> have you ever seen a movie where the rocket ship is breaking through the atmosphere and the g-force is so strong that you can see the tension on the faces of the bodies that you're watching moving through space their eyes look like they're going to bulge out and their head looks like it's going to explode and you can tell that they can hardly stand it and then all of a sudden they break through and then huh, the relief of that tension is no longer there that's what meditating is like no not quite not quite but, but it's sort of kind of like that sort of kind of like that because your goal is to quiet your mind but when you first start to quiet your mind your mind isn't quieted so you have a sort of internal battle going on because you want to quiet your mind but it isn't you want to quiet your mind but it isn't you want to quiet your mind and it isn't and you're so focused on quieting your mind you can't and so we say listen to the air conditioner it's so beautifully boring you have no judgment about it I've heard better <laughs> you don't feel that way so you just let your mind relax and at first there's a tension there's a tension isn't there you know what we're talking about we're talking about the tension of releasing resistance which is easily accomplished by releasing thought but there's a tension in releasing thought because you've trained your minds to focus and your mind doesn't want to really release thought your mind wants to focus on something and the law of attraction is going to cause your mind to focus on the most active thought which in most cases we love you so much is resistant in nature to some degree so when you meditate you got to focus on something and let that tension be there because it's natural but just keep focusing until you break through the atmosphere you will and when you do sweet relief will come over you that's a state of non-resistance and when you do that we're talking about 15 or 20 minutes to get there when you do that now everything in your vortex you are allowing but we don't want you to think about it we want you to just sit in that relief in that release in that absence of resistance and know but don't know it so much that you're thinking just know that what's in your vortex is now calling you and there's no resistance in you so you're going and as you go now a thought will occur to you an impulse will occur to you and when it comes think about that but we're talking about what Esther is writing as she writes her segment of intention as she's going to meditate she's begun writing something like this not the same words every time but the same intention I'm gonna sit for 20 minutes or so <laughs> I'm gonna turn off my phone <laughs> and sit in a place where there will not be interruptions the universe has such good timing <laughs> and I'm going to quiet my mind I'm going to quiet my mind by focusing on this sound sometimes it's a sound in her house the refrigerator makes a really nice sound the condenser the air conditioner makes a really nice sound but sometimes it turns on and off so she has an app on her phone it's the most spiritual app in the whole world it's called central air it's just this nice steady sort of atmospheric buzz that she focuses on her statement of intention is I'm going to focus on this sound this sound of silence sort of speak this sound and I'm going to allow my vibration to rise and then this is the key word that she has just discovered recently and this is everything that we're leading up to with you and then I'm going to watch the movie if it happens I'm going to watch the movie if it happens not I'm going to create a movie not I'm going to take this issue and I'm going to work it over good because 
that's a reintroduction of the resistance she is talking about letting go of I'm just gonna watch the movie I'm going to watch the non-resistant movie that my inner being has queued up for me so I have one singular intention and that is to release any resistance that I have okay now that made perfect sense to you didn't it your meditations are going to be so much more pleasurable from now on pleasurable and therefore powerful but pleasurable is what we're going for but therefore more powerful but pleasurable is what we're going for because if you go for the power of it you're going to try to create within it if you go for the pleasure of it you'll chill you'll allow it to be so you got that didn't you now what we're saying to you is that's the same stance that we want you to now be relative to everything that you want because you've done the work you have sifted through the data you've done step one source has gathered the cooperative component step two is done now your work relative to this subject is to let it be let it come to you don't try to direct it that makes you focus in the same way that we were giving the example of it makes you activate vibrations that are in your way you are so close not to this end result to this never-ending pattern and path of results 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 you're not ever gonna get it done you're not ever gonna get to the end but you're gonna have so much pleasure as the universe says here you go and you say I see that and then the universe says here you go and you say I see that the words that are coming from Esther these days are I am bowled over by my now awareness of the cooperative universe that is acting on my behalf she said it's like problem solution problem solution problem solution problem solution or question answer question answer question answer question answer and if the question and the answer are really close together or the problem or the solution are so close together then you have that feeling of your hands in the clay but you don't mess it up by focusing upon a problem when you're not close enough to the solution to let it in is that helpful yes <laughs> and yeah <laughs> yeah 